thank you so much to everyone here uh, and to you, Vidyat. I'm excited for this conversation with you as the winner of the Earthshot Prize for Clean Our Air. Clean air is an issue that's very close to our hearts at, at Bloomberg Philanthropies. And um, Mike Bloomberg, as, as three-term mayor of New York, one of his proudest accomplishments was getting the air in New York City to its cleanest level in 50 years. And uh, as a result of those measures and others, people here in the city live on average three years longer at the end of his term uh, than they did at the beginning. So those are the kind of... Um, uh, statistics that we have to look at in our work, and uh, it's part of what makes your work at, at Takachar so exciting. So, first question for you is really, tell us about your company. You're a founder, you're a CEO, an engineer. Tell us about Takachar and, and what you do. Yeah, and thank you so much for having me here. such an honor. So, uh, let me start by just trying to place myself in the shoes of a farmer. So uh, imagine I'm a rice farmer, uh, I'm growing rice and it's time for harvest. And I've harvested my, my crop, but I'm left behind with three tons of rice straw per acre that I don't know what, what, what I want to do with it. I can't sell it off as cattle feed. Um, I, there's the nearest power plant is hundreds of kilometers away and it's too costly to transport this voluminous material over such a long distance. So what do I do? I just take a math stick and set, set uh, the agricultural waste on fire. And when millions of farmers do this together, that creates a horrible smog situation, uh, not only in uh, northern India where I live, but uh, all over the world. And statistics say that uh, worldwide, close to about 400 million tons per year of agricultural and forest waste just gets burnt in the open, uh, which is such a big missed opportunity because not only is that worth about $120 billion, uh, which, uh, the value of which could be shared among those farmers and rural communities, but it's also a missed opportunity in terms of uh, capturing those carbon emissions and sequestering that. So. Uh, so, uh, we at uh, Takachar are essentially uh, trying to address this problem by uh, building small-scale, low-cost, portable equipment that farmers can just latch onto the tractor, take it to their farm, and process their waste uh, and create value, and create uh, carbon-negative fertilizers, fuel, and other carbon-based uh, precursor materials for other specialty chemicals. And, uh, what it does is it helps create value for the farmers, it helps create income and livelihood opportunities for them, and also at the same time, it, uh, it, uh, it helps uh, prevent air pollution, uh, so we are able to prevent about 95% of smoke emissions versus the open burning of waste, uh, but we are also able to sequester those uh, carbon emissions by taking the locked carbon in those agricultural wastes and sequestering that in the soil through some of our products like fertilizers. That's a great idea. Thank you for sharing that. Um, tell us about what life has been like since you won the Earthshot Prize and uh, what, what Takachar is up to now and what's next. It's been very busy. <laughs> and um, uh, I think uh, the, the Earthshot Prize really helped catalyze uh, a lot of key partnerships and collaborations uh, uh, over the past few months. So we've been speaking to a lot of state governments within India and also in, in here in the US uh, and in Canada in the Pacific Northwest where we're working with um, indig indigenous communities there uh, uh, to set up our equipment and uh, process forestry residues uh, that uh, lead to forest fires and uh, also create local jobs there. So it has led to connections within the government and catalyzing deployments of our equipment there and also partnerships with various corporations uh, who, can, who can play a role in taking, uh, being an off-take buyer of the output from the machine and uh, you know, farmers can operate our machine and sell that output to them and you know, uh, create a more sustainable value chain. That's great. Well, congratulations on that incredible work. It sounds like the next step is really scaling it up. Um, across India and beyond. So congratulations, thank you very much, and I'd like to encourage a round of applause for Vijay. <laughs>